hey guys welcome back welcome back to another video in this video we are going to look at uh, stock tesla it's a daily update and we can also look at one more stock amd we will look at their chart and real quick and see whether these stocks are a buy or a sell or hold at this price level we can also look at a couple of call or put option and uh, depending upon the situation so without any further delay let's get started so before we get started uh, please check out our website and all the social medias uh, for all kind of alerts and all the information whatever I say here all recorded and tracked in the website so you can check it out uh, whenever you get a chance so before we look at our stock Tesla let's look at uh, AMD real quick and you guys are looking at uh, TC2000 stocks software uh, it's a weekly setting uh, as I told you before I like the weekly settings because it's eliminate a lot of daily noise and give you some kind of clean picture for a short term trading anywhere between a day to weeks and uh, the moving average that I follow is the 10 week moving average which is on the yellow and the 25 week moving average which is on white and uh, the 50 week moving average which is on pink so the main moving averages are 10 and 50 and the 25 will help you out when the market in an arrow swing uh, as like nowadays it goes up and down but it won't go drastically down or it won't go drastically up it's kind of stalling state so the 25 week moving average give you some kind of midpoint between these two lines so you can use it for training if you wanted to so as far as this stock is concerned it found support at the 10 week moving average around july then it moved up nicely then it went sideways then it uh, dived a little bit below the line but it found support at the 10 week moving average and it rallied quite a bit after that and as of now it's almost 10 down 10 percent from its peak but it found support at its 10 week moving average again so as of now i think this stock is a buy because it has found support at the 10 week moving average and bounced really nicely today and um, the buy zone between anywhere between the 130 all the way through 143 it's a little extended but it's not too bad so you can start with the pilot buy and uh, i am expecting the stock might pull back in next couple of days so you can look at the price zone anywhere between you know 130 to 140 that's a decent price you can get into it but 145 is also okay with it so this stock is a buy at this price level and as far as the option is concerned i really like that 150 price range which is not really like in a bad today it's almost doubled so i really like now you guys to wait for a few more days to the option to cool off and i would say that 150 is a decent price to achieve in the next couple of weeks so let's look at this option and the option that i recommend is like short term trading only it's anywhere between you know, 20 to 50 percent gain you can do it or you can take 20 percent loss so as of now i don't go anything beyond 160 or 170 but 150 is very very attractive just wait for a couple of days it might cool down so this is you now one way to check this uh, twitter feed or the facebook group or the website to see the alert i put the alert for amd yesterday for the amd 2020 call 2022 call for january for 150 it was typo it's 150 so it was trading around um, it was trading around like four or five dollars or so it's double today so just like you know wait for this option to cool off a little bit and after that you can enter to the 150 price uh, target uh, at the time and if and when it is very attractive, I will put an alert on this Twitter feed. So let's look at our stock Tesla. Again, it's in the weekly setting. It's still living below the 10 week moving average. So as of now, if you are doing day trading, it is fine. And if you are looking for a long term, it is good. But if you're looking for a very, very short term, stay away from the stock because it's very, very wild. Uh, it is trading in any price range, any given point of time. So if you look at the daily chart uh, today the price swing was around the fifty dollars you know the low was 928 and the high was around uh, um, 978 so it was a fifty dollars price swing so it is like you know trading a little bit wild so you cannot do a day trading and it's not also not good for a short term trading but if you're looking for the stock for a long term this stock is like you now offering uh, a decent price you can now uh, add a little bit I expect this stock to come down a little bit more, but it's not going to go broke. 
And as far as the option is concerned, I really like the 1200. But the problem is that if you are doing trade trading on option, you can do it. But uh, as because of it's a very wild uh, price swing, it goes up and down and it's very hard to catch for a short term trading. So for option, you can stay away. And for um, uh, long term buying, you can get on it. So as of now, this stock is a hold or a small buy for long term. Um, that's what I put in this stock as of today. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this quick video. I will try to do a Tesla update uh, pretty much every day. And uh, I will see you guys in another video later very shortly. Until then, have a great rest of the day.